These are the the uh, blanks for the jaws of the uh, vise. And these are glued up. These are two pieces of maple that are three inches wide and about, well, the finished length of the vise is going to be 17 inches. So these are a little longer than that. So you got one of these things. Uh, these are, are handy for quite a few things. I keep it sharp on the end here. I don't you really use that as a pry bar on that end. And uh, it's pretty good for straightening off glue if you keep it sharp. I've got a paint scraper, but I can never seem to find it. I'm just going to scrape the glue off of these and then uh, run them through the planer to get them flattened out and uh, cut them in length. Okay, these are the jaws for the vise. I uh, scrape the glue off. Plane them flat on the surface planer on both sides. These are a glue up of two pieces of three inches wide. That's uh, <clears throat> the reason for that is that's the stock I have. So uh, I've got two pieces that are identical. Uh, what I want to do now is, uh, even though this maple is really hard, uh, it still wears out, especially along the top edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rabbit in the top of each each jaw all the way along about an inch and a half deep and half inch thick and that part will get a uh, a screw in jaw another uh, sacrificial piece you could say so what happens is uh, after so much use the edge of this gets worn down and if uh, the, if the jaw is a one piece solid thing like this then what you're left with is trying to repair it in place. So what I want is an easy way to replace those jaws. And also, it gives me the opportunity to put a different, maybe harder material in here. So that's what I'm going to do now. the first cut and what I'll do is I'll make another cut this way to remove this piece of material. Let's have a look at that. That's uh, that's good. I like that. need to uh, cut new jaw parts that go in here. Obviously these are too small now. But uh, it'll be uh, like three screws holding it in and um, if they get worn out or beat up then I can just replace them. Here's some of the major parts of the vise that make it uh, so that it's quick release. Uh, these are the jaws made previously with uh, with the nuts. I cut off a short length of the one inch sturdy rod to put in here so I can get the proper spacing. What they do is uh, they sit on this part here. This is actually the underside. This would be the bottom and then this part would sit on top. So that uh, these parts these parts here, the jaws, would uh, I'm calling them jaws for, for want of a better term. I mean, these things really don't have names, uh, as far as I know. Like, I'm just making this as I go type thing. And uh, I don't really know what to call it. The, the point is that these pivot, there's a couple of bolts that go right through here and through, the, through this part and get double nutted on the bottom. They will go right through the workbench and right through this right to the bottom and these jaws will pivot on it 
and they go uh, three quarters of an inch in from the edge and about an inch in from the end. It's not about, it is actually an inch. Why do I say about when I mean is? I'm going to be precise here. Same on the other, on the other one that's got the same uh, kind of deal. Now what I need to do is I need to clamp these parts together and then drill half inch holes right through this whole thing. That's going to be the easiest way to line it up. So I've got this piece of uh, plywood clamp uh, put in here uh, just as a spacer. I've got my uh, piece of threaded rod inside to, to give them the correct spacing also. Um, these really should be flush uh, with the back here, flush on the end. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll clamp these together and I'll drill through. Okay, I've got a half inch brad point drill bit in the uh, drill press here and I'm going to drill through these. I've got these clamped down with serious clamp pressure. I don't want these to move and I really can't get back there with the clamp any closer. So. I've got these really tightly clamped down. <clears throat> so, uh, these really need to be straight. Uh, you know, I'm not talking, uh, I'm not talking NASA precision here or anything, but uh, straight is good. <laughs> coming through. I can finish that out by hand. That's not a big deal. The rest of the hole can guide it. Let's drill the other one. Okay, so those are drilled most of the way through. I'll put this in the, in the hand drill and I'll drill the rest of the way through to complete them. <clears throat> 